it's like 658, but I'm like right down the street from my job. I'm definitely later than I want it to be, but it's okay because I'm going to get here on time. I'm literally finna pull up. Um, I didn't get to take a long nap at all. I probably only took like an hour and a half nap. So I know I'm going to be tired tonight. For the rest of the vlog, I'm basically just going to be at work showing you how my work day goes in a long-term care. One thing I can say is this job is very laid back. I pretty much pass my meds. Um, most of them are sleep. You do have the ones that don't go to sleep. Oh so yeah, come to work with me. Okay, so first thing I do when I come in that I didn't show was count my narcotics with the previous nurses. After we count, they didn't give me a report. Um, if you don't know what report is, it's basically them giving me a summary of what happened during their shift. Things like if there were any new admissions, discharges, did anyone get sent to the hospital, any falls, change of condition, stuff like that. So then you see me um, getting ready to do my 8 p.m. med pass, so I logged into our system, and this facility uses Point Click Care. So here I am now doing my med pass, drawing up insulin. I usually start my med pass right at 7:30. Um, I am the only nurse on night shift, and I have two CNAs here with me. Oh yeah, and there's about 37 residents. So yeah, the nurse to patient ratio is ridiculous, but the med pads, well the nighttime med pads is nowhere near heavier than daytime. So it usually takes me from like 7.30 to 10.30 to complete my med pass. So around 12 o'clock, I'm pretty much finished after my med pass. I go ahead and eat, chill out, do homework, edit videos, watch a movie or something because I pretty much got a lot of downtime until my 6 a.m. med pass. And I do um, have like tiny tasks that I do after my med pass. like. One resident, um, we have to closely monitor him because he's on O2. Um, and of course, like if call lights go off and they need me for whatever reason, I go and check on them. But for the most part, the residents, they sleep during these hours. So now you see me doing my 6 a.m. med pass, um, which I usually start at 5 just so I can make sure I have enough time. And the morning med pass is very, very quickly, only take me like an hour to finish. And here you just see me going to the storage room, grabbing some more test strips for my blood glucose monitoring.
and then right here i had to kind of blur it out so y'all wouldn't see no names but um after my med pass don't do this y'all um i'm waiting to the last minute to sign narcotics don't do that i'm doing wrong y'all um just make sure y'all sign it like as y'all are taking them out but i'll be dead. yeah i'm doing the wrong thing <laughs> And I'll say do the right thing so you want you won't make any medication errors. right here you see me just going back and now i'm making sure that my count is actually right so this way when the day shift nurse come in and then i start counting i won't have to like stop counting just to go back and fill in what i may have missed So after my med pass is complete, I usually get done around six because like I said, I start at five and you know, you can give meds an hour before the actual time. So I start early that way at six o'clock. I have that hour left to pretty much finish everything that I haven't got to like treatments. And at this Pacific facility, um, I only have one major treatment to do and one resident he has like a huge stage four wound on his sacrum so I'll go ahead and do that dress and change I'll go ahead and make sure the one resident who um, I monitor closely with his oxygen I make sure that there are like full oxygen tanks his portable oxygen tanks there for the next nurses
And right here, you can see I basically switched sides. This facility only has two halls. So, and then, like I said, I'm the only night shift nurse here. So, it's probably like 5.30 now. I'm about to go ahead and knock my other hall out. And, yeah, I'm pretty much doing the same thing I did on the other cart. I'm going to count my narcotics over here to make sure the count is right. So now it's probably like six o'clock. Um, I'm about to start cleaning up. I wipe the carts down. I make sure my trash is taken out. Um, you're about to see me restock. So I make sure the next nurse has cups, medication cups, straw, spoons, fill the water pitchers back up. You know, just common courtesy, but not every nurse does that, by the way. They will literally leave the car a mess. <laughs> And y'all, the reason why I got on that mask is because everybody started coughing, sneezing, and hacking out the blue. And I, yeah, I wasn't trying to take no chances. But yeah, and so pretty much after I'm finished cleaning and everything, while I'm waiting on the day shift nurses to come back, I pretty much just make sure I got everything charted, you know, everything is completed. We also have to chart things like body audits, monthly summaries, um, skill daily charting on Medicare patients, you know, stuff like that. Just making sure I got everything completed. And then I think I'm gonna show the time, it's like 6.42ish. And that's around the time the day shift nurses start coming in, so yeah. And once they come in, we do the exact same thing. This is, I'm charting right here. So yeah, when the day shift nurses come in, we do the exact same thing from when I came in. We count narcotics and then I give them report. And then it's time to go. A lot started happening like literally at seven o'clock. I hate when that happens. I was on the road, y'all, even recording. Like you would have thought that that would have slowed me down. No, one resident had a huge BM and it got all over his um, Foley catheter. I had to get on the phone with the pharmacy because I didn't realize that medicines had to be ordered or they was gonna run out. So I handled that before I left. And let me clock out before I forget. It's our bird, it's our bird. Most of the things I don't want to say.